half an acre, Castle Valley, Utah. This is located in Grand County. My name is Miles McLaughlin. Check out the views from this property. This is a really special land investment opportunity. You just don't find a lot of real estate out there with remarkable views like this. This is Castleton Tower. I think that's priests and nuns back there. Then you've got, you know, the Red Rock Rim um, coming through, you know, Castle Valley. Um, this is near Moab, Utah. Um, you know, Castle Valley, if you're familiar with the terms, back here is the LaSalle Mountain Range. Um, I'm going to zoom out in this video. I'm going to go through a few photos. I'm going to talk about this property, what I know about it, answer a lot of FAQs, how to access the property, you know, what's the situation with utilities, water, power, septic, um, things of that nature. So let me give you the full rundown on this property. Spend a couple of minutes with me here on this video, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. This is a really cool area. You can see me standing on the property. The top of the property is mostly flat, right? Um, next to the road, I'll get to it. It's kind of an upward slope. That's where I put a driveway in. And I'll show you where I would put a driveway in if it were me buying it. But again, this is from the property, a view from the property. Castle Valley is known to be a green valley with a lot of water. Um, so putting a well in shouldn't be too big of an issue. The neighbors have done it, right? The neighbors have power or solar. They've been able to do it. So we'll zoom out. We'll see other people have developed. So that's all really great signs. This land itself is zoned for development, right? It's zoned for building. You can put a manufactured home on it. I'll get to zoning here in a minute, but just clicking through some of these photos, you can see um, kind of how that slopes up from the road right away at the property line. This is a neighbor's fence. It does, as you come around here, it's actually less elevated. So that's kind of probably where I'd put that driveway in. I'd come around this corner. I'll show you what I'm looking at on Google Earth too. So again, this is a little bit more rural area outside of Moab, outside of Castle Valley, a little further south. So kind of get an idea of what we're looking at here. Uh, flat property up top, some remarkable views and easy access on LaSalle Loop Road. So let me go ahead and pull this up on Google Earth and show you what we're looking at in terms of property location. So I just have the GPS coordinates in on the property. This is Moab, this is Castle Valley. So the drive down here is so cool. I mean, this valley that you're driving through to get there is so cool. Um, I'll just, I mean, you can get on Google Earth and look up the coordinates of the property. We'll share them on our website. And you can look at all these images. I mean, it's, it's just world-class, right? You've got, um, you know, you've got creeks back here. You've got public access everywhere, Jeep trails, hiking trails. It, it really is one of a kind area if you haven't been out there. So, um, but I'm sure most of you looking at this video are familiar with the area. Um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Like I said, I was just touching on how pretty of a drive it was um, past all this red rock to our property. Then you've got the valley here behind you. Then you come out and zoom out to the south of the property or uh, southeast is the LaSalle mountain range. So it, it's a pretty special location. It's a rural property. Again, the zoning's RG, which is intended for building or you know, manufactured homes would work. I'll have a description of the zoning on the website when this property is posted. So we're looking at, let me get myself out of the way there. We're looking at this acreage right here. Like I said, it's 0 0.4 acres. Um, you could get it surveyed and that could be um, maybe even a little bit bigger from GIS mapping. It looks like it might be. Um, this has 0 0.41 on GIS. So this is the neighbor's fence that we looked at. It's a little steeper right here. I would put a driveway probably in off the road coming around to the flat area. So all up here is flat. And um, like I said, a good driveway, it levels out here. I'd put one up there. That's where I'd put a driveway in. And yeah, just zooming out. Um, if you wanna go visit the property, what you're gonna do is use GPS coordinates. So that's a big thing. We offer a self-service real estate model. So you know, go check out the property on your own, go walk it. I recommend using an app called Onyx and I have a blog on how to use it. Um, what you're doing is you're gonna search your GPS coordinates. I'm on Onyx's website right now. And the reason I like Onyx is because one, you can download maps when you're not getting cell phone connection. Two, which I recommend doing for all successful land visits, I've got a blog on our website showing you know, kind of an Onyx tutorial how to use this, but you're gonna plug in the GPS coordinates and it's gonna take you to our property. And it's this one that's showing in Ann Taylor's name, right? That's who we purchased it from. These GIS systems don't update for a long time, but you can see the property lines here on um, Onyx, right? So when I'm walking on the property, you see my cursor, I will like my GPS will be tracking me and you'll be able to kind of roughly walk the property seeing these property lines. What you're gonna to need to do that though is map layers because without these layers, you don't see the property lines. Like you don't see Ann Taylor's property versus Bowden Randall guy. Um, so this is what you're looking at. You're gonna to go to Utah and you're gonna to go to private lands. You can be able to, to do that. Um, again, you can just copy and paste the GPS coordinates in Google maps, just like somebody's address. 
You can look at aerial imagery like I just showed you on Google Earth. We share that on the website. You can look at natural features in the landscape to help you get an idea of what the what the land is, what you're looking at. So um, again, we covered photos. I touched on zoning, you know, RG zoning. Um, I have, I'll share links like this um, to Grand County's land use stuff. Um, I've got what requires building permits. This will all be inside the listing. We'll have these links that you can look at. Um, again, more zoning information, uh, Grand County's GIS system. So again, a lot of this will be inside the website. You're welcome to play around with it. We covered GPS coordinates. We covered water's gonna be well, um, sewage, sewage is going to be a septic system um, and power is going to be solar or pulling power in. Um, I'm guessing it's underground power in that area. Um, otherwise, the neighbors are all probably using solar. But again, you know, everybody along this road has been able to develop. It'd be pretty rare that for some reason this property has no water. You know, it's a thousand foot deep well. So you'll, you're probably not going to get an answer on hey, how deep is a well without somebody starting to drill. But I mean, look around you. Everybody here has a well and Castle Valley, the green landscape is known for you know, producing water um, in terms of this region. So again, Miles McLaughlin at Wilco Land. I don't think I'm missing much in this video. We do offer that self-service business model. I do have a blog on how to use Onyx for successful land visits. I'll show you that on the website. Um, but otherwise, I don't think I'm missing much. Here's the blog on how to use land visits. Um, we've got other properties in Utah and across the United States on the website, offering cash discounts for cash buyers, seller financing terms for um, almost all of our properties. So give us a call. Give me a call if you have questions. 605-250-1256. That's it for me today. Thank you.